You're in a privileged hey, position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Deuces. We have a nice little topic today. I'm going to give my world view opinion on since it's a world economy and it's a world politically. You might as well get your world opinion on and I'm going to relate this to stuff that happens here in the States. All right, I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to talk about dude killed 77 kids because they weren't like him in Norway. And this is like world headlines. And y'all ain't crying about but you're crying over a hoodie. And let's go into it. People are upset over like the Zimmerman Martin, Martin Zimmerman cakes and all that which goes into it. I'm not going to sit there and talk about it, explain it. You guys are upraged and uproar and flying the flags for whatever side you're flying. But at the same time, in Oslo, Norway, Andres, I think I'll say Breivik or somehow, I'm not Scandinavian, I'm not a proxy name, maybe you can help me. He was accused of killing 77 people in Oslo, Norway. Now, he stands accused of killing the 77 people like he was like a right-wing fanatic who killed out of bigotry and he killed out of ethnic and religious views and his bias. Like nobody here in the States, I have, I, you, you maybe hear some like news organizations where you hear like once in a great while people talk about this, but there should be more people talking about this here in the States because, you know, this guy point blank went up and executed these kids at like a youth camp for, a, I, I guess like a political party youth camp. This dude point blank went up and like double tapped them in the head or whatever. Like, this is, and I'm not making this up, this is a point of public record over in Norway. Like, all you gotta do is, like, look at the news and do a little research for yourselves. You can pull what I'm pulling up. Like, where are the marches and the protesters over here? Because just because that's happening in Norway doesn't mean it doesn't affect you. Well, unfortunately, people, it does affect you because this is a worldwide symptom. Now, you guys don't want, you guys don't want to cry and whine about a hoodie. Yeah, you ain't making your videos, you ain't posting those shares on Facebook about them young kids who mostly were Muslims who got killed by this psycho who he killed, he kills and he killed 77 people. And the only apology he made, like I see, I might I may link what happened here, I may link I'm not there or whatever to the story, but the only apology this dude made was to one store owner's family because he was he's he was upset that he, he killed him when he was an innocent dude because he was a pure Norwegian or whatever, something to that effect. Like, this is a time for, like, real protesting. Over here, you should be protesting that. Because it's just like, on the States, we kind of look at things like it's only us. But, like, our isolationism is over with. We can't be this worried. Like, it's like I said, it's a world economy. It's just more global politically. And we're becoming intertwined with a lot of stuff. And you guys aren't really talking about this. There's nobody talking about it except maybe news organizations or maybe get a two-second spot on the, your world news or whatever. But what I'm trying to say is all you activists and all you act, all these activisms, you're not, there's nothing happening here. I'm like, well, why is that? Because it's not happening here? I'm just saying there's a guy that kills 77 people over religious and ethnic bias and bigotry. And you guys are worried about some dude that we don't even know the whole story, which the facts will come out hopefully. Y'all were y'all talking about hoodies. It's like there's a in a way it's like there's a bigger point to this issue, and y'all want to minuscule everything. So I don't know. Sometimes you gotta do more than just share something on Facebook. You might have to actually get out there and protest. So I'm just let you guys know that the world is bigger than your little block, your hood, your trailer park, your whatever. So I'm out. Peace.